turn wooden vessels, hollow them out on the lathe, and then I completely encase the vessel with a beaded skin. So I guess okay. I'm a vessel maker. There are special uh, wood turning tools that are called hollowing tools. So when the chunk of wood is solid on the lathe, it's turning around and you're drilling a hole directly to the bottom and then slowly scraping out all the insides of the wood until you have a hollow form. I guess your husband does a lot of woodwork as well? Yeah, Jack uh, does all of the large vessels for me. This is one that Jack turned on his lathe. I have a small lathe and I turn all the smaller vessels on my little lathe. Uh -huh. Sometimes we work together and Jack will turn up a vessel that I will add beadwork to and sometimes he adds woodwork to my vessels, so maybe he'll do a lid or a base or something for one of my vessels. So okay. we collaborate a lot. I do attach my first row of beads to a piece of leather, so that is provides a beginning, a place to begin. So but you have the leather is part of the work? Yeah, it provides a foundation to stitch my first row of beads to. Huh. Sometimes I, we, we're working on a new design now that I've eliminated the leather and I simply do a circle of beads, so it's just nylon thread and a circle of beads, and then with my needle I'll continue to build bead upon bead, and it, it hugs the vessel, so it's like a skin that, that is created over the surface of the vessel. So it hugs it, I like to say it fits like a glove, so there's no need to glue it, it's really a custom fit, one bead at a time, I'm creating this structure that will perfectly cover this vessel. So it just floats over the surface. There's no glue necessary.